So over the last few days, I've been trying my best to review different gameplays to see how many confirmed vehicles I was able to find. So in today's video, we'll be going over all the ones I was able to find images and some that I was able to find the names for. Along with that, I'll be showing you guys a exclusive vehicle that will only be available to certain people within the game. So like always, let's waste no more time and get right into the video. Now, based off of the information we got during the reveal of Breakpoint, there will be a total of 30 vehicles available at launch. Now, unfortunately, after reviewing about 15 different gameplays from start to finish, I was only able to find eight of them. Now, of course, this not including the three already announced vehicles for the pre-order packs, which for those of you that haven't seen them, I'm going to put them up on the screen right now, which is the Hammer Mark II vehicle, the Trail TX motorbike, and the GX Spider Buggy. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the list and we're going to start with the helicopters. In the background right now, I'll be showing you a picture of one of the very few aerial vehicles we saw during all of the gameplays, and that is the Jips. This helicopter right here is probably one of the more familiar ones to you guys, mainly because at the very end of the Madeira mission, which for those of you that have seen the gameplay reveal, as well as a lot of the gameplays that all of the big content creators are putting out, this is kind of the mission that they're rinsing and repeating. But at the very end of that mission, you guys go ahead and grab Madeira and take her to a helicopter. This happens to be that very one. Now, like I said before, I was only able to find two different helicopters in all of these gameplays uh, the problem with the second one is that it was not accessible to players in the demo build but enemies would occasionally fly in on them and from what i was able to see in a brief glimpse it looked very similar to an mh little bird unfortunately i wasn't able to get a clear image of this but i'm sure you guys get the idea but regardless i'm going to be showing you guys a picture of what it looks like in real life even though i'm fully aware that all of you know way more than i do about military stuff but anyways moving on now to the ground vehicles we have the Pathkeeper. This one seems to come in two different styles, the closed top and the roll cage top. It's a really cool vehicle with a sort of dune buggy kind of look and based off of what I've seen, this will be one of the more common vehicles around the world along with the next one which I wasn't able to get official name for it but considering it says Zeus in the tailgate, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that that's the name of the vehicle. Now this one is just like the Pathkeeper. It comes in what seems like two different styles. Uh, one is in white and the other one is in black. I'll be showing both of the variations in the background. Again, I'm not 100% sure if these are the same pickup trucks, but they look extremely similar in the angles that I was able to see it in. So this is kind of just my guess. But now really quickly moving on to the next one. Uh, this is the last one that I have with a name and it's probably the most interesting one on the list simply because this was handed out to individuals who attended the E3 convention and got their QR code scanned at the booths. Now, unfortunately, there is no word if it's going to be available for everyone at launch or maybe some type of different variation or if it's even going to be available as a microtransaction, but it's a sports bike called the Vector Blade. Not going to lie, this one looks badass and I'm pretty glad that I got my hands on it. So if the case is that you guys are not able to get your hands on this bike, I will most definitely be making a video and letting you guys know all about it. Now, one thing that I will say is that sadly, I wasn't able to ride any of the motorcycles that were in the game during my playthrough uh, to really test how the mechanics are, but I'm just praying that they don't feel anything like how Wildlands bike felt because man, were those things terrible. But on Honestly, the driving in breakpoint did seem like it was really really well so i would assume that they kind of changed around the motorcycle mechanics as well but anyways now moving on to the next one is a vehicle that i'm pretty sure is going to get a major nerf by the time beta releases because i actually got the chance to use this with fox zero and it was beyond op but as you can see in the background right now it's some sort of futuristic humvee now what makes this vehicle so op is the turret on the top this is operated from the inside of the vehicle so basically you aren't exposed at all while using the turret overall this was the vehicle that i had the most fun in and did not want to let it go but let me know your thoughts on this because i feel like this is the one that a lot of you are going to be super excited for now there is a more traditional looking humvee in the game which i'll show you on the screen now this one as well we unfortunately don't have a name for nor was i able to test it out myself so not really much i can really say about this but now finally for the last vehicle this one is some sort of cargo truck which i can confirm has the entire bed full of stuff so no you cannot jump into the the back this is a two-seater vehicle sadly and we kind of found that out the hard way because both me and fox zero came across it and we had two other players with us so we kind of had to find another vehicle now another interesting thing about this is you would assume that this vehicle runs really slow but it actually is extremely fast not sure if that'll be there for launch or for the beta maybe now that they saw people using it they're going to kind of tweak it up a little bit but like i said before these are just eight of 30 that will be available at launch just like i did with my confirmed weapons video i will be updating the pinned comment with any new vehicles that get released to keep you guys updated i really do hope that you guys found this video informative and if you did make sure to drop a like
like and subscribe for all types of breakpoint and wildlands content honestly the more that i sit here and do research on breakpoint the more excited that i'm getting for october and i'm even more excited for september so that, that way i can get my hands on that beta again like always thank you guys so much for the support i really appreciate it those of you that stick around with the channel through everything even when i am gone for quite some time also don't forget if you guys want to get in contact with me or if you guys want to just have some conversations about breakpoint or wildlands we do have a discord it's in the description at the very top we have about 317 members over there so you guys are more than welcome to join we have a lot of cool things coming for over there including some giveaways and contests and stuff like that so make sure that you guys jump in there but anyways that's pretty much going to do it for today's video like always i will see you guys in the next one